What's up guys, I'm back and here we are with episode 116 of series 3 of Army Men. And I know we were over here in the series battles area, but now this is as a normal battle. <laughs> Instead of a series battles thing, so why not? So anyways, Sid's about to match his, high, his highest win streak of 8. Which is if he wins this, he'll match it. Because he's at 7 right now. And if he actually ends up winning all the episodes of this arc, he has a great chance of breaking the highest win streak overall. Which, I keep saying 11 or 12, but I'm pretty sure it was 11 that was the highest they had. That was back in Series 2, I believe, that they set that. Because I don't, I don't think anybody's had that high of a win streak in this series at all. Not even them. But in Series 2, they had a very huge one. I think it was 11. So if he gets to 12, he'll be past it. And if he gets to 13, I'll know that he's definitely past it. And that's going to be a big moment. And he'll have the highest win streak overall in Army Men Series history. So. Now, as for the complex thing with Ian, there's going to be a little bit of closer steps since we're over halfway done with the arc now. And maybe within like a couple episodes or so, it will be found. Or we'll see what happens. Anyways, all right, back over here and prepare to lose again, guys, because I'm about to match my highest win streak of eight. Yeah, if you can get it. Oh, I will, Kurt. I will. I will match the highest, my highest win streak and then beat you guys' highest win streak of 11. I'm pretty sure it was 11. So once I get to 12, I would have beaten it. And if I get to 13, I'll know that I definitely beat it. And hopefully try and build it up even more, so that way, even when we do kind of team up at the end, things get fine between us. I'll still have the honor of holding the highest win streak overall in Army Men Series history. So anyways, who's leading against me? Because Steve led for like two episodes in a row. Oh, I landed on eight. So that's... So it's Pete. Alright, someone else. Let's see how you do against me on this, Pete. It's been a while since you've led against me. Alright, let's do it. And another thing, I had already said it, but it's been a while, it kind of plenty of episodes since we had both the men in for HP battle. It's always been the front guy, excluding the series battles episode a few episodes ago. So the backing guys haven't been able to come in. Will they on this one? We'll find out. If so, that means Jack can come in for Sid, and since Pete's leading, his backing guy, Joe, can come in. But let's begin. Oh, we start with a regular double. On Pete got it. Four at eight. Are you kidding me? I'm already down to two. What's the matter, Sid? You already feeling distraught? No, 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 no. I'm not. I can still win. Another regular double. Well, Sid got that one. One that's two. You missed. Two. Come on, give me some higher numbers than that. Five, there we go. Pizza right here. Now, the number of the TV I put at is at 35, so you might still kind of barely hear it, but it shouldn't be too loud enough. Two again. Can I at least, can I at least wait till there's actually only two men left, then you can give me that number? Again. You gotta at least admit, Sid, that while it is only twos, it's a little bit of progress. Yeah, I guess you're right, Pete. But still, I need better than that. You better not land on the two. Oh, you missed. I saw you land on it for the trying to get the higher number roll, but as long as you don't land on it on the killing roll, that's fine. Oh, one. I'm down to one. At least I made some progress on you guys. Oh, you got lucky, because if that guy was still there, that would have been it. Nah, that wasn't a good roll. Roll that again. I need to borrow something. Sure, what? 
your house. My house? Just for an hour? Gee, the Japanese are very hard. That's three. That's a little bit better. Oh, here we go. Back to two. Sure she two by two by two by two. That's what it's been. Twos and twos everywhere. There should be dead bodies everywhere. Really, it's going to keep landing on it. Maybe once there actually is two guys left, it will actually land continue it. King's card. Alright, numbers. Um, Pete. Three. Sid. Two. Oh, of course, you're going to play on it. Three, two. Nope, it did not land on either number. So the card's effect will not happen in this one. Well, let's try to roll down. Oh, I saw where it landed. Damn it! Ah, oh, only me again. Nope. Still only the front guy coming in. Alright, so that means Joe stays right there while you come in, Pete. Two, I'm at 28. Two again. Only two of them. Twenty-two. I'm using my first HP gain. Missed it. Still have one left. First god check. Oh, it could be tripled if Pete wins. Four times. Oh, and he got it, and it's four times the damage. And Sid's at twenty-two. Three and four. That's twelve. I'm at ten. HP gain. Help me out. Oh no, I'm out of HP gains. God check again. Oh, and he got it. I won that's two, I'm at eight. And last one. Four, that's eight. Crap. Two and four, I'm down to four. And he's already used up a manipulation because of that trick, so Sid may be at a disadvantage. He's kind of worried his streak might come to an end here. It cannot end like this. I'm so close to matching my highest. I can't lose now. There's a double. Ah, but I'm not at eight now, so that doesn't do shit. Okay, so he's out of HP gains. He still has all his god checks. He's out of god checks, but he has his HP gains. Yes. Five. There we go. Five men left. You're going to lose, Pete. I'm going to beat you. Land on that five. One. You're down to four. Yes, got him. I'm still in it. Get in here, Pete. He's out of God checks. He's out of HP gains. I'm going to use my first HP gain. Already? Oh, but you missed. First God check. Oh, it could be tripled if Sid wins. Oh, and he got it. Two, that's six. You're at 24. Second HP gain. Oh, and he landed on it. Is it going to be doubled? No, it won't. Well, the hand symbol's there, but since he already tried to go for a double, he can't do it now. So actually... Okay, I never had that happen before where it landed on the symbol when adding up. So, um, if it lands on it... If it lands on it there, then you only get the other die's number. So he only gains four. So, he's at 28. So he's out of everything, but he still has two guard checks left. Second one. And I got it. Three, that's six. You're at 22. 
a regular double, triple. Sid got it. Five and three. That's fifteen. And you're at twenty-two. Oh, I got you down to seven. Oh, I am so back in this now. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use my last one. Oh, but he didn't win it. So straightforward battling from here. And he still has two manipulations left. And he's at four HP. And he's at seven. Yeah, we can still do regular doubles for now. Oh, it said got it. Two, that's four. You're at three. You're in the range. Oh my god, this is going to be one of the biggest comebacks I've ever had if I win this. Get the three. Oh, damn it. Wait, three and four. Yeah, we can still do regular doubles. Okay, Pete got it. So Sid can get a... Pete can get a one or a two. Oh, I landed on five. And again, a triple. Well, Pete is at least at three, so we can do triple. Oh, and Sid got it. The only thing he can get is a one to put him down the one. Oh, and he missed. Get the three. Damn it, I don't need four. Two, two, you're at one. I did it, yes! Highest win streak match! Lucky number eight. Lucky number eight. Eight is the number. Yeah! Got the big eight. I did it. And that has got to be the biggest comeback I have ever done. You had me all the way down to 4 HP while there were still men here. And I took out all of them. God checked your ass down to nothing. Damn it. And I still had two manipulations left. So I did it. Hey, don't... What, you want to be a sore loser now? Oh, hold on. He landed in, like, some water, so I gotta clean him off. You want to be a sore loser about that, Pete? I just wanted you to have your streak over already because we haven't won in a while. Well, too bad. Deal with it. And you don't want to do this to me right now because I will fuck your ass up. Seriously. Down on it. Oh. And he dodged it. Ian, you son of a bitch. Oh. Oh, drop kick Sid. You stay your ass down. I'm the winner of the battle, so you're the one that needs to be down. Stop it. Get off of him. Oh. Oh, Joe's intervening now. Oh, Joe just intervened. He's now attacking Sid. You get off of him. Get off of me, Joe. You weren't even in this. Yeah. Yeah, and don't try and pull Jack in now, too, because then I'm going to say the same thing. Or whatever. Just get out of here, Joe. You and Pete lost. Get out. Don't kick me. Stop it, Joe. Now go. Fine. But this isn't over. And you better get out of here, too, Pete. Because that's it. You guys are starting to crack under this pressure of losing so much. And I'm the better man. Because I have matched my highest win streak of eight. I've equaled it. And if I win next episode, then that's it. Nine in a row, I'll have, I'll beat my own streak. And I'm so close to beating yours. So, bye-bye. What do you want, Ian? Joe's right. This isn't over. Because now, I'm going to kill you. Oh, what? What are you going to do? You think I may be all silly and all and kind of cuckoo from this little complex affected, but I could still feel normal anger. So why don't you get up and get the fuck out of here?
I ain't taking shit from you. And, and I wonder what the hell Mr. Man's doing, because he hasn't done much on you. Oh, shit. Bring him in. Actually, I have. Why is he still acting the same way? Like I said, be patient. Well, this is taking too long. Well, the arc's getting near over, so it's going to be found out eventually. Well, it's not happening soon enough. I just want it found already so this little charade of his can end. Fine. Just go back over there with Jack and I'll check on him. You promise? Yes, I promise. Don't get aggressive with me. Don't get aggressive with me. Well, sorry, I just want this whole thing figured out. Well, I'm trying my hardest. It will be found eventually, but for now, be patient. Just go. Fine. But this isn't over, Ian, Pete, and Joe. I will kill all of you if you any of you try that shit on me again. So he's doing a little checkup. All right, sit down, Ian. Hmm. Let me take a look at the scanner here. There is a little part in there that's moving around so much. It looks like. A part that's just moving all around. That's what's doing it. It's from pressure cracking. Yeah, and he sees a little part inside that's moving around in his brain. That's moving all around like if it's all jumping around affecting the complex. And what the cause of it could be... Hmm. Let's see. It would actually be the effect of that area on top of the stove. There's like some chemical thing in the air what like and it affected him and it's gotten inside of him and it only can only be cured by a little medicine which mr. man now realizes that's the only way to do it so they have found the complex what's in it and he's gonna get ready to tell the others make sure we're still going yes we are right. oh god you have a complex your complex is affected by a jumping around thing hey. uh Ian, why, why don't you go back over there right now? Hey guys, what is it? And Kurtz like says that. All of you listen up. I found it. You really did? You found out what's in his complex? And Sid's listening in on as well, over there. He hears them. And then he's going to have a scene with Jack where they talk about it. There's a part inside his head that's moving around so much in his brain. That's like jumping around. And I see over there at that stove area where we battled, there's like a chemical that was coming down. And they we didn't realize it. But how come it only affected him and not the rest of us? I guess it just decided to do it to the one who was the main one of the arc. But that's what was affecting his complex. And it got stuck in there. And that chemical was acting around inside of his head. And it's causing him to act like this. How can it be cured since we know what it is now? There is one way. We have to find a good medicine, a strong medicine. We have to find a good, strong medicine. That's the only way it will clear it out. So, we'll have to go back over there. Now, here's the idea with that I'm coming up with. For series battles 12, when it gets to episode 120, we will do three battles. The third and final battle will be on that stove, right where this arc began. So, it's a bookends. It began over there and it's going to end over there. This whole arc is. So it's bookends. And they're going to find the way to turn off the chemical from spewing down over there. To make sure the area is not affected. And then once that's done, Ian will get the medicine and he'll be back to normal. Good that we found it. That's good news. So we have to go back over there. Find a way to show off the chemicals and give him the medicine. Then he'll be fine. 
Right. That's good news. And now Sin Jack's part. Hmm. That is good news indeed. Yeah, we heard it. There's a chemical over there that was affecting just him since he was the one with the arc. It, it didn't get all of us. So now they're going to come up with some medicine and turn off the chemical area over there. They've got to find a valve or something. And once they do that, Ian will be back to normal. And we could possibly have the highest win streak by that time if we keep winning all these episodes. <laughs> you said it, brother. Yeah, it's all ours now. Well, that's another victory for us. Eight in a row. We've I've matched my highest win streak, and now I'm gonna be ready to break it. So let's pack it up. All right, that's it with the episode and for Army Men Series Three. I'll see you guys next time for episode 117.